the loss of the job, of course, less or led to the buying of the ticket. So, you know, stick with what you know. Get keep, on them. keep them real. That's right. Uh, you in the kitchen always scares me, but uh, <laughs> I have more confidence in your partner. Uh, we're with a trained professional, yeah. Mark Yarkany, so uh, <laughs> the fear can, can be gone. Uh, Suma is going to be joining us here. Uh, after the break, we're going to kick the sodium out of our diet, correct? Right on. And here are the ingredients, a little tease for us. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to learn how to do it and eat healthy. I love this. It's my first lesson today. I'm ready. First lesson. <laughs> So it's time to kick the sodium out of our diet. Registered dietitian Sue Ma is going to help us do just that. Okay, on average, we were talking about this earlier, we should be having, what, 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day? 1,200 to 1,500 milligrams of sodium for the entire day. And a slice of pizza, you get how much sodium? Well, it depends on where the pizza comes from, but easily 1,700 to 2,000 calories. Most Canadians are eating 3,000 milligrams of sodium or more. So okay. we're eating double what we need, and that, of course, can lead to hypertension, which is the number one risk factor for Hypertension is not our friend here. Hypertension is high blood pressure. It's the number one risk factor for heart disease so all of us need to watch the amount of sodium that we're eating so you're going to introduce some ingredients that we can uh, make things uh, from scratch at home to help uh, remove the yeah. sodium so tell us about the salad uh, we're going to make the salad. salad so you're going to add the ingredients some red pepper yellow pepper oranges and and um, some onion and you know in season you can add any sort of vegetable or fruit that you want right anything yeah. is great so just add the ingredients in and these are basic ingredients you get at any store right yeah you get them at any store and i'm going to make the salad dressing okay and it's all about cooking with no salt no msg so i'm going to use mrs dash table blend mm -hmm. and i'm going to mix that in with um some balsamic vinegar and some olive oil and now, when, on yeah. average, I mean, you're making your salad dressing here. Uh, how bad uh, or how much of a culprit is the salad dressing you buy in the bottle when it comes well, to sodium? Well, you know what? It can have hundreds of milligrams of sodium. And this has no salt, no, no MSG at all. I'm going to add a little bit of orange zest, and that's going to help perk up the flavor. Okay. Because we've got oranges in the salad dressing. And what are just good replacements for salt in, uh, in, in the dishes just to make sure you maintain the flavor? Herbs and spices. And, you know, that's a great point because a lot of people think that if they're cooking without salt it's going to be very bland and it's actually the contrary when you're using herbs and spices like mrs dash you can really perk up the flavor yeah. without any salt or msg so what we're going to do now is add the salad dressing to the salad you've okay. done a great job tossing Thanks. like it took me what 10 seconds to make the salad dressing right yeah so give it a toss okay so the salad. So that's ready to go. A good uh, a good start. Now, is, is it, I mean, is this good for a meal? Is this or just good for a little snack? We can have it day? as a side dish, or you can even have it with a meal. If you have some grilled chicken, put it on top, and you've got a meal in itself, right? Oh, okay. So we have the salad option. So that's a salad. Now we're going to make something that um, I like to serve as an appetizer or a snack to my kids, and it's okay. called the avocado lemon avocado this. lime bites. Okay. So you're going to mash up two avocados, and okay. my kids love doing this. Right? It's so much fun. This is fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Leave the aggression. Okay. So yeah. Right. Got the and avocado. We're going to add some lime juice, yeah. a little bit of Tabasco sauce to give it a kick. Mm -hmm. And this is the garlic and herb Mrs. Dash. It's my favorite. There are nine different flavors of Mrs. Dash, and the garlic and herb is my favorite because, you know, I love garlic. Yeah. So give it, you mash it all up. And is this, uh, is this like the, the, the best strategy to eliminate the sodium? Because, I mean, half the time when I'm going out, I don't even know the content in terms of whether it's sodium, you fats, know what? carbs. Fast food is the biggest source of sodium in our diet. So hot dogs, hamburgers, pizzas, submarine sandwiches, all of that. So if we can eat out less often and yeah. cook from scratch more often, we can really cut back on the sodium. Plus, read food labels, too. Read for the amount of sodium on a package. Yeah. The lower the amount of sodium, the better. Okay. So what we're going to do now is scoop some of this avocado in. Okay. These little shells. Now we're using the tortilla and like how much sodium is in the chips? Well you can get the low sodium tortillas. Okay. Right and then what we do is add a nice little piece of cherry tomato on top and it's great. It's a great snack for after school. It's a good appetizer. Give it a try. Nice, and we have all kinds of samples. Yeah, of, of lots recipes. of other recipes. You can all find the recipes on mrsdash.com. Okay. So salmon, Cajun chicken, which uses a spicy Mrs. Dash. If you love pasta, this yeah. is a fettuccine dish that uses the garlic and herb, and it's all great recipes that have no salt, no MSG in Mrs. Dash. Good tips. And World Hypertension Day. When is this happening? May 17th, and it's all about raising awareness to help prevent and uh, and treat hypertension. Nice. Love it. I'm going to eat some in the kitchen. I'll bon appetit. The All right, Mish, back over to you. We're kicking right. the sodium out. All right, and you continue mashing there, too. I think you left a full piece in there or something. Yeah, get on that. It's okay. Good. Is it good? <laughs> All right, okay. thank you so much, you guys. Let's get into the kitchen.
Suma is in to talk about reducing our sodium this morning, and I am a fan of the salt. Love the salt, and I'm really trained to um, crave it. And I think that's a problem for a lot of us, isn't it? Oh, you know what? The average Canadian eats more than 3,000 milligrams of sodium a day. And how much do we really need? 1,200 to 1,500 milligrams. Half so of we're, that. Yeah, we're eating double the amount of sodium that we need. And we know that eating too much salt and sodium can lead to hypertension or high blood pressure, which is the number one risk factor for heart disease. So all of us mm. really have to cut back. And I know on your radar, and what should be on a lot of our radars if we have young children, is what's happening to our kids. Right, because they're learning to eat foods that are salty. And in fact, studies show from Stats Canada that 93% percent of our young children are eating more sodium than they need. So let's start changing up the diet. Let's start cooking without the salt so that they can, you know, train their taste buds to eat less salt. Because mm -hmm. it just takes a, a week even just to get get cut that salt craving and start to taste, really taste your food again, Well, right? it, it's going to take some time for people, right? But, mm -hmm. you know, if you start training the taste buds and, and start using different herbs and spices and like Mrs. Dash seasoning blends, you start to train the taste buds and train the palate and then that leads to a future you know, healthy lifestyle. Yeah, and, and when you when you talk about the complications that can arise from hypertension, um, looking at a life full, taking pills and, and reduc reduced to yeah, diet it's not as well. Good. Exactly. All right, let's get cooking. Uh, you brought in some beautiful things for I an example. I brought a wonderful salad that includes some uh, peppers, some red onions and oranges, and I'm going to have you make the salad dressing, which I takes like help. 10 seconds or less. Right. So we've got some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Olive oil. About two tablespoons or so. All right, balsamic, love so the smell of So give that a little bit. And then we're going to add about two teaspoons of the Mrs. Dash table blend. Okay. Now, all like of that. these recipes use Mrs. Dash, which is a seasoning blend that has no salt and no MSG. So it's great to keep in your pantry. No salt at all. No salt, absolutely no salt and no MSG, and it's great for everyday foods and everyday cooking. And then add some orange zest. Orange zest? Yeah. I'll give it a little kapow. There you go, yeah. And, you know, some texture too. And mm -hmm. you just drizzle that over the salad. Oh, that smells wonderful. And it smells great and it tastes fabulous. And a lot of people think, oh, if I'm cutting out the salt, it's going to be bland. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. Okay, so if you're using the Mrs. Dash seasoning blends, lots of flavor, no salt, no MSG. Yeah, it's about flavor, right? It's about flavor, right. Mm -hmm. So there you go. And that looks wonderful. And then you're getting wonderful. your greens too. And, you know, lots of fruits and vegetables are important for a healthy diet because those foods also have very little sodium. Okay. So the more fruits and vegetables, the better. Good pointer. You brought in some other beautiful dishes. Yeah, and I'm gonna, we're going to make this little snack mm -hmm. that includes um, some avocado. Now, I've made this up ahead of time. And your daughter, she, she probably likes to cook or she helps yes. in the kitchen, right? Okay. Yes, well, she tries. <laughs> and that's the fun of it. So what you do is you take two ripe, uh, two ripe avocados and you mash it up. Mm -hmm. And you add a little bit of lime juice, and that helps prevent the avocado from turning brown. Mm -hmm. And then I add about a tablespoon or so of the garlic and herb Mrs. Dash, which I love. Okay, there are nine different flavors, but that's my favorite because I just love garlic. Yeah. So you mix it all up, and then uh, we scoop a little bit on a spoon here. Yeah, the kids can help with this for you sure. You know what? My kids love it. They love guacamole, so this is so Avocado's fun. Avocado is so good for them too. You know, right? it's got the good, healthy monounsaturated fat. Mm -hmm. So you scoop it on, and then you just top it with a little slice of cherry tomato, and voila! Mm -hmm. Like, isn't that so nice cute? Little... It's a nice little snack, or it's a nice appetizer nice to serve appetizer. to your guests. Oh, and you those. can get the low sodium corn chips too, right? To keep everything mm -hmm. lower sodium. Yeah, and, and what's your position on, a lot of manufacturers um, need to get on board with this, right? Because the bottom line is, if we just made everything from scratch in our home, we'd probably be better off, but we don't. Reality is we don't have the time, mm -hmm. right? So I think, I mean, I do a lot of um, sh grocery shopping, obviously, and I'm seeing lots of products on the market now that are sodium reduced and have less sodium, and I think that's great. So that's kudos to the food industry because they really have an important role to play and, and helping produce foods that have less sodium. The more we buy that kind of stuff, the more we'll see of it too. Exactly, and mm -hmm. what you can also do is read food labels and check the sodium amount in the food and try to buy the brands that have less sodium. Yeah. All right, and this is a beautiful roast beef idea That's for a us. beef tenderloin, and what we've Ooh. done is uh, we've rolled up some Mrs. Dash seasoning blend with pine nuts. And you just press it on top of the roast and you bake it as usual. That's so there's beautiful. no salt, no MSG. If you're going to be cooking salmon this weekend, Love this is a nice recipe. salmon with pineapple salsa. So pineapple, red pepper, green pepper, some Mrs. Dash, you bake it, and there you go. Voila. And it's no absolutely fabulous. salt at no all. No salt, no MSG. And I am tempted always with pasta to add pasta. salt. I love pasta. Well, you know what? I've used the garlic and herb blend, which is my favorite, right? Mm -hmm. And so you just... Um, stir fry the veggies with the garlic and herb blend and you put a little bit of, a little bit of cheese over the fettuccine and it just brings all the flavor up. 
All right, some great recipes and great suggestions. We do need to start reading those labels as well exactly. and being aware of how much salt we're intaking, especially for our kids. Breakfasttelevision.ca if you want those recipes. Sumaw can also be found nutritionsolutions.ca. Okay, something smells good. Mmm, it smells great. It looks great. Suma is here, registered dietitian, and we are making salad. We're using Mrs. Dash. What can I put in my salad? What We're, should I put? Well, let's put, start with some ingredients. Um, vegetables, of course, we've got some yellow pepper and green peppers and red peppers that can really spice up the spinach salad. And we're talking about cooking low sodium and without salt because today is World Hypertension Day. It is. It is, and around the world, one and a half billion people have high blood pressure. And right here in Canada, five million, over five million Canadians have high blood pressure. So it's a good thing to c c uh, cut out salt. Yeah, and we, you know, high blood pressure is the biggest risk factor for heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. So cutting out salt from your diet is a great way to cut back on sodium and decrease your risk for hypertension. Okay, so I'm so going to toss that in. in. Yeah, you know, no, you can I'm putting them all in. Put them all in and some uh, red onions. Just And you know what? Seasonal vegetables. Or you can even add fruit if you want. I'm going to make the salad dressing, which is so simple. It takes 10 seconds. So I've got some balsamic vinegar, okay. some olive oil. This looks like a great yep, it's salad. Great. And then I've got some orange zest. And I'm using some Mrs. Dash seasoning, which is no salt, which has no salt and no MSG. Okay. And uh, it ups the flavor of the salad dressing without adding any salt at all. So you just mm. whisk it. I mean, so can you smell it? Mm -hmm. And you just drizzle it around, give it a little toss, and then voila, you're done. Look at that. It looks great. So that's perfect for entertaining or a nice summer salad. Add some grilled chicken and it's your meal for the evening. There you go. Now we're going to make an appetizer or something that you can serve as a snack for your kids. So what I've done is uh, I've taken two avocados and you can help me just mash that up a bit more. And I've told you how I feel about avocado. <laughs> we both love avocado. Avocado, I could eat eight of them, and which is, it's a good fat, but you, you said it's got, you... it's got the good monounsaturated fats, right? But it does still contain quite a bit of fat. So right. you want to watch how much you eat. So maybe half an avocado half. a day would be good. Was that lemon? Yeah, now that's, we could use lemon. This is lime juice and that just helps prevent mm. the avocado from turning a bit brown. Yeah. Dash of Tabasco sauce, kick up the flavor a Ooh, bit. Oh, I like this. And this is the garlic and herb seasoning blend. Okay. And you know what? If you like it more garlicky, just add more of the seasoning. Oh, I like it more garlicky, so but I. I don't know if other people My will like me. My kids don't, so they just add a <laughs> bit, but I garlic. add more. And then we take some tortilla chips. And, and this uh, is great for the kids, right? Well, the kids love, they love helping me mash the avocado, right? Yeah. You get a little fork and you mash it up. And then you just take a little scoop, scoop it on. Ooh. Add a little tomato, and it's a great appetizer or it's an after-school snack for the kids. Fantastic. Right. We've got the, it, them on display right there. It looks beautiful. The ki kids will just gobble that up. Oh, yeah. If you've got a plate made, they'll gobble it up just like that. And we don't really want to introduce a lot of salt to our children's diet. So well, you, we want them to grow up without salt, really. Yeah, and you know, 93% of our kids are eating too much sodium. And in fact, the average Canadian adult eats about 3,100 milligrams of sodium. That's oh. twice the amount that we actually need. So we really have to learn to cut back. And by using salt-free MSG ingredients, we can really cut back on the amount of sodium. Because there's already eating. salt in so many things that we consume. Yeah, so when we packaged food, processed food, fast foods are the biggest source of sodium in our diet. Right here. I love fish. Salmon Me is one too. of the best fish for the omega-3 fats, right? So we've added some seasoning here with um, over the salmon and in the pineapple uh, pepper salsa. So it ups the flavor without adding any salt. Mm -hmm. Pasta, I'm a big fan of pasta also. We've used the garlic and herb seasoning blend there and a little bit of grated cheese on top. So that's a nice meal in itself too. Okay. And then my husband, he's the spicy guy, okay? He loves this. I love garlic and herb. He loves the extra spicy. So we make this Cajun chicken, which is done on the grill. And you just sort of put a rub with the uh, extra spice, um, extra spicy seasoning and um, a little bit of paprika. And there you go. There you go. Okay, you know what? If anybody wants to dig in there, Mark, why don't you take some of those right there on display. Uh, for more information, you can um, go to mrsdash.com. And of course, we are going to have all that information on breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much, Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Jen. Good. Enjoy. Thanks.